Well, I was born and raised in Chicago, Illinois. And I was on the south side. Now that makes a big difference in Chicago, north or south. I was um, raised in the Catholic Church. And I was very dedicated to the church. Even as a little girl, I remember my mother, um, when she couldn't find me because I'd sneak out of the house, I'd end up in the church. And I loved going there. And I felt, even at five years old, very close to God, which amazed me when I finally understood what it meant to be a Christian, that at that age, God was speaking to me. Well, at the age of 29, I trusted Christ as my Savior. Um, it was actually New Year's Eve, on a New Year's Eve at midnight. And at midnight, I started thinking back about Christian Women's Club and the need to receive Christ as my Savior, which I still did not understand. So I just looked up and I said, Lord, I don't know anything about this, but whatever it is these women have, I want, and I don't know what it is. And my life changed from that point on. I have been married twice. Uh, my first husband's name was Jack Graybar. So I was a Graybar for approximately 26 years. And he passed on. But we had three wonderful children. We have, I have two girls and one boy. Then I was married to Harry. I met him through community Bible study, although he didn't go. His daughter-in-law and her mother came and they found out I was a widow in one night. And the next week I had a picture of him and she said, you have to get to know him because he's the best. And I said, no. However, it took some time to convince me. He was a, a very caring person, very honest person, a very humorous and witty person. And I was first in his life. And we grew as Christians together. And he became so strong, it was amazing. He actually ended up starting a Bible study in our home. Men would come every week faithfully. I've even told other women, everybody should be married to Harry at one time in their life. I came home from work at night. There was never a dish in the sink. He was clean, no newspapers on the floor, no clothes, not in the hamper. He kept things up. And he said, you deserve this, you're working. And he said, and I want to honor you with that. He was, he was just an amazing man. Harry was a reasonably um, healthy man, but he really was not feeling well at all. So I made an appointment to get some tests done. But in the meantime, I suddenly had this desire to take a little vacation and see some friends of ours in Missouri. We were there for a solid week. He was not sick once. God just gave us this last vacation together. On the way home, he started to get this digestive systems problem again. So the next day, uh, he woke up and he said, you know, I don't feel too good today. We went to the hospital and this is exactly what happened. The doctor came in and he said, Mr. Jones, you have cancer and you don't have very long to live. And he left. That was tough. That was tough. We didn't even talk for a while. We just didn't know what to say. And it was true. He did not have very long to live. And in fact, he lived 16 days. And I remember driving down college and just looking at the stores that I used to like to go to, the places we went eat at, it, it meant nothing. Nothing meant anything. It was a very sad and hard time, I will say. I thought, I'd, I thought we'd go into our old age together, and we didn't, and it's been hard. It was just the person I missed, the presence of him, um, going to bed at night alone, these are things widows go through. How did I find peace then, after the passing of both of my husbands, really? I sought the Lord a lot. I was in my scriptures constantly. I think the best thing I did, the very best thing I did, was I went to church immediately. And people, of course, come up to you, and that was a very difficult time. 
But I knew if I didn't do that, I would delay coming. And Satan was just not gonna win, no way. And there were many weeks, I mean months honestly, that I always had somebody next to me in church. I stayed in the Word, I continued in Bible study, I let no time elapse. And that's what got me through it, the Word of God, really. It was the only thing that would have gotten me through that time. I know I will see Harry again. I know I will see Jack again. And the reason I know that is because they both have accepted Christ as their Savior. They love the Lord. They, didn't, they weren't perfect, but neither am I. Yes, we have had our um, sinful times, but that's why Christ died for us. If He didn't die, we would still be in our sin. And I thank God that I know that for sure. I know these men are up there and God has taken good care of them for me until I see them again. God also gave me a dear friend, and everybody in this church knows her, and Kathy Clark. Her husband died one month before Harry did, and I thank God for such a dear friend. Well, so today, this is eight years later, what do I enjoy in life? I can smile, I'm so happy I can smile now. I'm not sitting here with tears. First of all, I love going to church, so that's something that has always been a part of me. And of course, we're right here at Front Range, and I'm so thankful to be here. I'm still in Bible study. That is probably what I enjoy the most, honestly. But I am grateful for, uh, for the life I have lived up to now. I'm grateful for wonderful parents. I'm thankful for the Lord that He saw fit to allow me to be saved. God is so good. He is so good.